everybody, this is Anne. Today we're going 3D as we hand build flower forms. I'm going to mount mine on a tile, but you can put them on whatever project you're working on. The first thing we need to do is roll out a slab and cut a 5 inch squared shape for the tile. To hang the tile, I cut holes on both sides. For the rows, start with a thick coil of clay and make a tiny carrot-shaped base. I begin to shape the top part with a needle tool to resemble the inside of the unfurled rose petals. Then I set it upright on the table. Now to make the petals. I will pinch a thin strip of clay and cut off a corner section. Make sure the top edge is as sharp as you can without the clay cracking. I carefully fold it around the base so that the strip is a bit higher than the middle section. Cut off any excess clay, and then when you're happy with it, attach the strip at the bottom. So I can still see the middle section, I will bend the top edge back a bit. The next petal will be attached so that it overlaps the first petal. Attach the slab at the same height as the first petal so that it gives the rose the appearance of opening up. Continue the same process for each successive petal. Notice how I attach the bottom of the slab to the base. This will keep bulk from occurring and will give you a nice attachment as well. When you're happy with the size of the rose, turn it sideways and carefully cut off the top from the base. While the clay is still malleable, adjust the petals as desired and place it where you want it on the tile to make sure it's the size that you want but do not attach it yet. Next we'll make a daffodil. I start by rolling out a thin slab of clay less than a quarter inch thick. I drew a template in advance with the shapes of the daffodil I will need. Cut out the templates, then trace the shapes on the clay and cut them out.
I want the edges to be thin, so I dip my finger in water and flatten the outer edges of the clay. Place the shape beside the rose and adjust the petals to make sure it'll fit in that space on the tile. Repeat this process with the next shape of petals, laying it over the first petals just like so. Attach these together, then with the end of your needle tool, make a hole in the center and widen it out just a little bit. Using the rectangular template piece, roll this into a cylinder shape, cut the ends where they overlap, and attach them. With the needle tool, I flatten the edges and push the top so that it flares out a bit. Cut the cylinder to about a 3 8 inch or so and attach it to the center of the daffodil. Make adjustments until you're happy. Remember, don't attach the flowers to the tile yet. Finally, we'll make a pansy. Again, I'm using a hand-drawn template for the petal shapes. I cut them out of the same quarter inch slab and thin the edges like the others. I'm working right on the tile to make sure the size is right and make sure that I don't cover over the holes in the tile. Place the two back petals first so they overlap. Then place the side petals over them and attach. Finally, attach the pointy shaped petal over those. Make adjustments until you're happy with it. Again, do not attach the flowers to the tile. Remove the flowers to dry separately. Then cover the tile with a bat and a weight so it can dry flat. You may want to check out our video on how to make the perfect flat tile. Once everything is dry, I design and paint the surfaces with underglazes. If you want to learn more about how I paint with underglazes, check out my video workshop series. The links are below. I fired the tile and the flowers separately, and once they were cool, I glued them down with Gorilla Glue. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time in the studio!